Okay, um, obviously a very difficult uh, game uh, for us. Um, credit uh, Coach Drinkowitz in Missouri uh, for beating us and playing uh, better than us. Um, we need to uh, get to this off week and, and take a good look at ourselves and, and improve in a lot of areas. Um, you know, starting with the, the discipline of this team. You know, we, you know, that uh, there's a lot of penalties and a lot of things that are happening. You know, the football, there's a lot of areas that we can go through. I'm sure you'll ask questions on and that we need to address and work on to, to improve. And uh, I anticipate we will. Um, but the, the discipline, uh, the, the lack of discipline is, is really something that's, uh, you know, standing out and, and bothering me. Um, we, we haven't been perfect over the years in, by any stretch, but we've had more discipline than we have right now, and that is uh, something that's inexcusable. You know, we have to take care of the football, uh, we got to eliminate some penalties, and, uh, and then obviously get to work and, and get better in certain areas. And as I told the team, that, that, they're, that this is not fun, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, you know, a tough loss, um, especially when you, you got a team uh, at home and, and we don't play our best, um, but we, we have an opportunity to bounce back. And, uh, you know, I think the bye week comes at a good time. Our players need to, to get healed up. We're down a bunch of guys, but that's no excuse. You know, we have uh, plenty of players that, that can step in and play better than we did. And um, we'll use this week to uh, coach better, uh, develop the guys that we have, and try to get some guys healthy. Questions? Mark, after all week talking about responding to adversity, it felt like after the fake punt, things just fell apart really quickly. How concerning is that to this spiral out of control? Yeah, yeah I think it, it's, um, it definitely doesn't feel very good. You know, when you feel like you get out fast, um, you have an opportunity to start really fast with defense starting with a three and a half. Driving it down the field, overcome a penalty on both of the touchdown drives, and, and uh, start 14 nothing. And then the fake punt uh, definitely—it's uh, one of those plays that kind of feels like it punches you right in the gut, you know. And uh, and and we didn't respond very good after that. Mark, you lost some good leaders off this team, guys who were veterans. This year, I know you talked about developing leadership. Mm -hmm. Do you think at this point, maybe some of that lack of discipline goes back to a lack of leadership on the team? Um, I don't want to uh, point the fingers at, at, the, at the team and, and the lack of that. I, I have to own that, you know, myself. And, um, and you know, we will. Um, like I said, through the years, um, we, we've been far from perfect, uh, but We've been unselfish, and we've played for each other, and um, that's the message, and we, we will get that across. I think frustration is a big piece of some of, some of this tonight. Uh, guys are frustrated, and uh, you know, I think we all are frustrated, but you have to, we have to handle the situation better than that. Offensively, do you feel like you're struggling to find the, the right balance with runner pass after those scripted draws? Yeah, I, I do. And I think, you know, Liam will be the first one to tell you, you know, when things don't go well, you, you know, it's 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 difficult. It's just like late when they, you know, when you know, Devin, you know, had somebody right in his face on the boot and, you know, at their first down run. I think you saw when we had success in the run game, it sets everything else, you know, up. And, you know, you watch a lot of the games. I mean, with playing the night game, I had an opportunity to watch some others. And you see some other teams in this league making a lot of hay on first, second down. And when we got in predictable situations and we got behind, you know, that, that they, you know, even the pressures and all that, so there's going to be some protection things that we're going to look at and just head scratchers because, you know, we, we, we worked on it. You know, and uh, didn't look good. So, Mark, Mark, how concerning is the pass protection? Because I mean, you guys even had maybe second and five, second and six at times, and he still had people in his face. Yeah, I think it, it definitely showed up uh, tonight. 
um, you know that that that's you know things that we got to look at and and make sure you know we're keeping people off balance too the right way and you know credit credit them you know tonight for sure and there's there's going to be plays whether well, I'm not pointing fingers at you know, you know there's going to be plays on offense defense and special teams and us as coaches and we look at things and we're going to be like you know. You know what if you know what I mean, and, and uh, well, that, that's not good enough, and we got to get some things corrected, and uh, we got to be better. Mark, with all these unsportsmanlike you know penalties mm -hmm. you got to practice, is there is there anything that can be taught to them, or just is it on the players to just not respond? Well, I I did talk to the players about that. I'm like, listen, you know, I, I we, you know, I, I it starts with me. I mean, I, it, it's I'm the head coach, and, and uh, you know we've got to get that that discipline uh, under control. And uh, they, the, but those players got to help too. Yes, they got to hold each other accountable as well. It's their football team. Mark, is, it, is Jagger injured? Is that why? Yes. Is it a long term thing? I hope not. I hope not. Um, he was he, he he wanted to try to play desperately, but uh, he he could not go. Defensively, there were some stuff. You know, as bad as things were there for that stretch in the second quarter, uh, it's still just a six-point game in the third quarter. Is it? How do you keep the defense from you know maybe pointing fingers when the the game was still you know within reach there for a while? Well, you know, it, it, it's easy. I mean, just look a week ago, you know, and the defense didn't play very good. You know, so we're we're in this together. Um, there was frustration across the board, but. Uh, there won't be finger pointing about one side or the other. We know that that script script can flip at any moment. Or two more drops on uh, what I think would have been third downs in emergence today. You just don't have any numbers in that wide receiver room because so many guys transferred out. How do you hold guys accountable and, and push yeah. there and, and, and fix that issue that's been yeah throughout? yeah we 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 have to fix that issue. We do. Um, you know the guys that are here. You know we got to try to get healthy. You know with Tavion and Barry on not being 100 percent, that hurts with their conditioning. It hurts with the way they practice. You know and not you know and uh, and they're battling and trying to get through the through the games. And then uh, when we give some other guys opportunities, they have to step up. And uh, you know we've got to we've got to make plays. We have to help the quarterback more. And. Um, you know, right now we're, we're, we're not doing that on a consistent basis. Mark, obviously it was a tough night with the weather. It was the second straight game where the, it seemed like the punting sort of yeah. left you in tough spots. Is there, do you open that position up? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's frustrated me as well. Um, and so, you know, we, we have to look at all options and, you know, we'll, we'll see, yeah. Mark, coming off a 38-point loss, this is obviously a disappointing performance, and, and fans are going to be frustrated. What what would you have to say to them as you enter in the toughest part of your schedule? Well, I mean, they, they have every opportunity to be frustrated in that. In, in, in our team, I just talked to many of the guys after, you know, in smaller groups and, in, in, you know, in, in with the players. In, you know, with our players, they're going to be frustrated. And first, right now, we got to go home. You know, they got to – just cool down, go back home, and, and come in tomorrow and watch the film, and we'll get together Monday as a unit. And uh, you know, it starts with looking at your individual performance and what area you can do better. With the fans, I mean, it, it, you know, what do you want me to say? I mean, it, it's frustrating, and I understand that. And listen, you know, I've been here 11 years, and I take the good with the bad. You know, and uh, and you know, either way, I'm gonna hold my head up high. I'm gonna try to coach this team. I'm gonna work my butt off to get them right. And, uh, and just like I told the team, the next opportunity we have in this stadium after a bye week is, is a big game. And, and, and I also told the team when I show them the standings, when we take the field against uh, that team in two weeks, there's going to be, what, I don't know, three, four, five teams in our league with better record. I mean, it's tough. It's tough. It's a tough league. And, uh, and we beat each other up, and, and uh, right now we're, we're a little bit battered, and we got a, a, a bye week, and, and we have to become a better football team, and we have to get some guys healthy. Mark, early on uh, in the first quarter, and, and it looked like uh, Larry and Davis both went through, and you know, they, had a, they, they had a rhythm going, and uh, all of a sudden something happened, and that rhythm changed, and, and they lost what you're saying you're going to. Um, 
you know, there's a variety of things that you could point to that happen, whether it be penalties, whether it be protection, whether it be a drop, whether, you know, you name it. But uh, we definitely have to help Devin, you know, some more. Um, you know, there, there's enough uh, blame to go around that, that uh, we have to look at every every area and, and put them in a better position to be successful. But we did that in the opening drives, and, and as you mentioned, we got to continue that through the game, and, and we have to re re respond there. What about Trevor Wallace with his situation? Yeah, How much do you think you missed him tonight? Oh, we definitely missed him. You know, just his, you know, the, his play, his leadership, you know, all that. Um, you know, it's it's not good, and you know, he Trayvon and Keyshawn are, are I, I don't, uh, I don't think they played a snap tonight. They were dressed. We we're gonna try to play them, but I don't think they played. Good. You know. Wallace, is it something you expect him back after the bad week? I or? hope so, yes. All right, anyone else? Yeah, one more. Go okay, if you're going off with helping out Devin, it looked like he did a lot of good things tonight and yeah. just, you know, drops or whatever. What do you say to him to kind of build that confidence when he did do a lot of good things just didn't get some results? Well, I think that, that he understands that. And, you know, you know, he, he starts with owning his mistakes, you know, and then there, there's areas tonight, there was a confidence this week. I thought he was, you know, really turning the corner, and we have to help him as a, the whole organization has to help him, whether it's protection, play calls, or <clears throat> catching the ball, you know, and we need to step up and work and develop, and that's what we got to do here this week. We got to get some guys healthy, but we have to get some of the other guys better to, to finish this season off.